Hey everyone, I'm Avian Azurin, Sea Doo Ambassador. We know how excited you are to get your Sea Doo on the water for the first ride, but there are a few things you want to cover before heading out on that maiden voyage. First, we'll go over the legal requirements for your Sea Doo personal watercraft. You'll want to make sure it's properly registered with your state or province before you go anywhere. If you've just bought a new Sea Doo personal watercraft, your dealer will help you with the registration process. In some areas, you can also do this online at your local motor vehicle or fish and wildlife department. Usually, you'll be issued a temporary registration that will allow you to ride immediately while you wait for your official registration decals to arrive in the mail. When you get your decals, you'll want to display them on both sides of the bow, above the bond line. In most areas, you're also legally required to carry a fire extinguisher on board. Your sea is equipped with a fire extinguisher storage either underneath the seat or under the hood in the front storage compartment. But don't just grab any fire extinguisher. You'll want to be sure you've got a marine fire extinguisher that fits in the storage area. The proper type is available at your local dealer and many automotive or hardware stores also carry them. Be sure to throw in a rope or a few dock lines for launching and loading. And don't forget to bring your driver's license or boater's license, along with any other documents required by your country or region, such as proof of insurance. A whistle or other sound device like a small air horn is legally required on board. This is so you can signal for help if it's needed on the water. I usually attach a whistle to my PFD so I never forget it on shore. And that personal flotation device is obviously another piece of required safety gear. But just like the fire extinguisher, you need a PFD that's approved for personal watercraft use in your country. In North America, that's a Coast Guard approved type one, two, or three PFD. You can find the type of PFD by looking here on the tag inside. All riders must wear a pair of tightly neoprene shorts or wetsuit when you ride. Shorts that extend to the thighs add comfort and adequate protection from serious internal injuries such as water intrusion during a fall backwards. A couple of other items you'll definitely want to consider are tight fitting sunglasses or goggles to protect your eyes from the sun, water spray, and bugs. A pair of riding gloves and shoes can also make the day that much better. There are a few quick items to check on your trailer as well before you head out to the boat ramp. First, check that the winch strap at the bow and transom straps are tight and secure. The transom straps should hook to the two U-bolts, or if you're a sea Spark owner, the straps will hook to the single eyelet behind the seat. Make sure the transom straps are clear of the reverse gate and the pump housing guard. Double check that the trailer is properly hitched to the tow vehicle and the lights are working. Your trailer also has a license and registration. Make sure those are up to date before heading to the road. A quick inspection of a few things on your Sea-Doo personal watercraft should also be done before you leave. Visually inspect the hole and the pump intake grate for any damage. You're looking to make sure that the hole is solid and the pump grate is clear of debris. Make sure you're topped off with fuel, check engine oil and coolant levels, move the handlebars, throttle, and brake levers to make sure that they move freely. Double check that all storage compartments, board racks, and other accessories are properly secured. Refer to your operator's guide for a full list of pre-ride and pre-season inspection points. If you have any questions or notice something isn't quite right, give your Sea-Doo dealer a call. When you arrive at the boat ramp, remove the seat while you unhook the transom straps. This allows any gas fumes that might be in the engine compartment to escape. And while you're undoing the transom straps, don't forget to install that drain plug. Secure one of your dock lines to the front of your sea and back the trailer in just until the transom of the watercraft starts to float. Unhook the winch strap and hold onto the dock line. You should be able to push the sea personal watercraft free from the trailer. Secure it to the dock while you park your trailer, grab your PFD and key, and you're ready for that long-awaited adventure. Following the steps outlined here should get every ride started on the right foot. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more SeaDoo how-tos and insider info. You can also find more great content in the Owner's Zone section of the SeaDoo website. We'll see you out on the water.